In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite gun bunch defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the channel. Now, then another thing that I wanted to quickly point out to you guys before we dive into the video is that if you want to get my entire, uh, all of my eBooks all season long, I would encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. Um, I actually have a full ebook on this Nickel 245 in that true fan membership for you, which I would argue is probably got the best pressure, the best blitzing concepts in the entire game. When you combine the blitzes that you can create from this with the coverage that we're going to show you in today's video, you're going to find that you're going to have a really, really successful defense. So again, if you want to get access to my full 245 odd scheme and the rest of my eBooks, they're on sale. All you got to do is sign up for my true fan membership. I'm going to put a link to that down below. And again, all you got to do is sign up. You can cancel whenever you want and it's just 10 bucks a month. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the 245 odd. And the coverage that I want to talk about today is the cover six. I would argue that the cover six is the most versatile coverage in the game. And the reason why is because from one play, you can literally create cover six, cover six invert, cover four quarters, and cover four palms, the four best match defenses in the entire game. So we're going to walk through how cover six works, specifically as it pertains to the gun bunch in this video. Now, one of the most popular plays that a lot of people like to run out of the gun bunch, especially whenever they're facing something like this play pinch two, which is a very popular blitz from this, um, one of their favorite things to do is essentially to take this square receiver right here and put him on a skinny post, combine that with the corner route, and then essentially max protect. And what you're gonna see is against pinch two, if you have good pocket awareness, you're gonna be able to hit that post over the middle, okay? So that's kind of the, the, the tactic that you're going to see a lot of people use. The beauty of the cover six is, again, the cover six is a match defense. It's not a drop zone. And so because of that, what you're going to notice is these deep zones, the deep half, the deep quarter, the outside quarter, both of those, they're all going to work together in how they're going to defend this. And so how this is going to look is if I try to run that same exact concept, I'm just going to use, you know, a simple, you know, hot route master setup. And you're going to see here that if I try to throw this skinny post to Mike Evans, just against the stock cover six, that deep half in the middle of the field is going to match onto it. And I'm just going to show you an instant replay because I got crazy shedded, even though I'm using the Patriots. Um, but let's just take a look at this in instant replay. So this post route, which is normally open against pinch two, you're going to see that it's basically completely bagged against cover six. And that's really one of the key coaching points or the key benefits of this. Now, another thing that people like to do uh, from the gun bunch is they love to throw like a running back out route. Okay, so I'm going to show you that real quick. So you're going to take a look here. If you look on the left side, you're going to see that I have, um, let me just show you my coverage here. You're going to see that I have a soft squat. And what I like to do when I run this defense, I like to go ahead and take that zone and turn that into a hard flat. And the reason why is because of how good that deep half zone on the left side is going to play against post routes and really anything from that solo receiver. So I'm going to use that hard flat now to basically be able to pick off and to play things like this quick flat uh, route that a lot of people like to run. A lot of people like to throw that route, and I cannot tell you how many interceptions I get whenever I run this defense. Even in clear out, a lot of people like to do this and, and ignore the left side for just a second because I'm going to cover the, or the bunch side because I'm going to cover that in just a second. But this is just the solo side, the running back interaction with the solo receiver. And I find that this is a very, very, very successful adjustment. This hard flat on the left, it really is kind of glitchy. And I'll be just I'll just be transparent with you. It kind of gets them out of the habit of throwing something like what they're throwing. Now, another little trick that I like to use, um, specifically in the red zone, is basically I like to use her this vertical hook. And the reason why I like to use her this vertical hook is because one of the most popular uh, tactics uh, in the red zone is to basically put an out route on the left side. And what you're going to notice is this running back wheel, um, once he cuts up field, they can throw it in this little pocket. And if you use a hard flat, they can throw it in that little pocket. So... Again, we have to understand what are the what are the problem routes out of the bunch? Well, that's one of the problem routes. And so how can we cover that? Well, to be honest with you, I would argue that it's best to try to defend this with your user. And so the way that I do that 
is by simply taking this guy right here and I'm gonna just come over here and then I'm gonna poach back to the post because I know how my defense works and how my defense works is that they're gonna have a lot of hardship if they just try to flood the bunch side. And I'm gonna talk about that now. So the route combos that you're gonna to see to the bunch side essentially are two. You're gonna have the three receivers on the bunch side creating a crossing concept to the back side, which what I mean by that would be, an example would be verticals. So, um, you know, for example, if they did something like this with a drag, okay? Just, a, just an example, okay? That's what you would see. And maybe you might see something like this as well. This is a very good route combo, I think, uh, for bunch, as you can see. Okay, so that's option A. They're going to do some kind of flood. So um, another example would be double post. So if I went to double post, it would basically be something to this extent right here. Let me see if I can get the player to stop being weird. That's double post, basically, right? Um, so you're going to get some kind of flood to the left, or you're going to get some kind of flood to the right. So the flood to the right would look something like this, where you have a corner, a streak, and a flat. The beautiful thing about cover six, any flood concept to the bunch side should be bagged by this coverage as long as we do one special adjustment. With our vertical hook defender here, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna man him up on the tight end. Now we're not actually gonna cover the tight end, right? We're just gonna man him up on the tight end. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because that's going to tell our match coverage, hey, we've got the tight end man locked no matter where he goes. So it's gonna essentially allow the rest of the coverage to play like it should play. So for example, I'm gonna show you one of the best uh, bunch, or um, one of the best um, like little bombs that people can do at a bunch. It's this play clear out SE out. What you're gonna see is when I make that adjustment right there, now all of a sudden that circle receiver is basically being double teamed up the seam. And remember, our primary responsibility as a user, because we're playing a hard flat on the left side, is we're basically the curl flat defender over here on the bunch side. So any crossers, any uh, deep crossers, deep posts, that's our responsibility. Um, and so, you know, it's going to kind of fit perfect within this scheme. Now, the last thing that I do like to do occasionally is I'll actually drop a hard flat defender uh, to the bunch side from my defensive end. Why? Well, because I know my pressure is very, very likely to come in on this side, as long as I you know, have good user and whatever. Um, and now if they go to something like, let's say the play flood, and I don't have to worry about a tight end flat because I got the tight end flat covered. And then as you see the pressures come in, and as you can see, this is probably the best bunch defense in the entire game. So again, the setup is really simple. Man your user up, user this left side linebacker, and I like to stand kind of right here so I can shoot the run. If you want to drop a hard flat, you can. Now, let me just show you what happens if I don't. If I don't drop a hard flat, watch the tight end on the right. You see, I can hit that flat route and turn up field for about 9 to 10 yards. But another little thing that I could do is I could drop that corner into a curl flat. Now, why would I drop them into a curl flat? Well, with the latest EA patch that just came out, curl flats get a little wider than quarter flats do. And so you'll see there that he's going to defend both the out route and the tight end route and essentially split the difference between the two. He's also going to do a good job of matching wheel routes and things like that. So those are kind of two options for how you can play this. But the bottom line is the big takeaway is to man your user up on the tight end. And the reason why I like to do that is because let's say they go to this play. This play is one of the best bombs in the entire game. What you're going to see is that circle receiver, if they try to bomb you, He's going to get bagged by the safety, and the defense is going to basically cover this concept exactly how it's supposed to. Your user being responsible, vertical hook, okay, in the cover six, especially against Bunch, in my opinion, you should drop that coverage and go ahead and man him up on the tight end, and then user any crossing route. Any crossing route being a crossing route from the tight end, a crossing route from the slot receiver, a crossing route from the outside receiver. As you can see right there, pretty much the entire bag of bunch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope that this video helped you a little bit in terms of how you're going to approach defending the best offense in the game, which is the bunch. 
Now, right there, we got kind of crossed up there. I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, but anyways, this is, in my opinion, the best budge defense uh, in the entire game for several different reasons. Again, several different reasons. Uh, you're going to find that you're going to bag things like corner routes. You're going to use the crossers, and you've got some underneath coverage that's going to help you take away that running back little in route on both sides of the field. So this, to me, is the best bunch defense in the game right now. If you want to learn more, if you want to learn my entire 2 4 5 odd scheme and how you can work in a lot of pressure off of this and at the same time still be able to have good run defense, I'd encourage you to pick up my 2 4 5 odd uh, defensive ebook. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. If you want to get the individual ebook, I put a link down there for that. But my recommendation would also be for you to sign up for my True Fan membership. And the reason why I want you to sign up for the True Fan membership is because I think it's the best value that you can get. Uh, from my content because I've got nine ebooks already posted over there. I'm working on my 10th one this week. And like I said, these uh, ebooks are not just, they're, they're offense and defense and they update. Uh, so as long as your subscription is active, 10 bucks a month, you can cancel whenever you want. But as long as your subscription is active, you'll get access to everything. You get access to all of my ebooks, all of my exclusive tips, my pro player breakdowns, exclusive live streams, and uh, just a ton of great stuff. So that being said, there's a link to sign up for that in the description if you want to do that. Um, I'm also going to put that down in the comment section below. But thanks for your time. And again, if you want to sign up to become a true fan of the channel and just support me as a creator and get a lot of content uh, for yourself, I would encourage you to do that. Again, there's a link to do that in the comments.